Hey guys, what's up? This is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to do a detailed gaming review of Huawei P20 Pro smartphone in which we will play a few of the most high-end games on the highest possible graphics setting to see how good this device is going to perform. Huawei P20 Pro, it comes with 6GB RAM, Kirin 970 processor, Mali G72 GPU, Android 8.1 OS along with 6-inch Full HD Plus screen. So let's play a few of the most high-end games and let's see how good this device is going to perform. So here we go. So we got a few of the most high-end games here. Let's just start with Asphalt Extreme. So you can see that the graphics quality is selected as the highest possible. And now let's play the game. So the volume is full. It's quite loud So my hand is covering these speakers right now. But the graphic quality is really nice. So the gaming performance while playing Asphalt Extreme was quite good. There was no frame drops or lagging of any kind. Let's play something else. Push yourself harder. Let's play Warhammer. It's one of the most heavy graphics 60 FPS game. So you can see that it's a 3D graphics game, 60 FPS, very heavy graphics game. The audio quality is good but it's not loud enough, just good enough to enjoy the games.
So you can see that the gaming performance is nice. I'm playing right now a very heavy graphics high-end game, but still it's quite good. And there is no lagging, no frame drops, everything is nice and smooth. And also the basically the graphics quality is really good. So now let's play Asphalt Extreme once again and you can see that the game is exactly where I left it. So the frame is working quite good. You can play two high end games side by side and now let's play PUBG Mobile. It's also one of the most popular and the most heavy graphics game. So I'm not a gamer, I'm just trying to give you an idea that if you're going to play a few high end games, so how good or bad will be the performance. So I'm showing the gaming capability of the device, not mine. And here we go with PUBG. And you can see that the highest possible graphics settings selected Ultra HD is not available for this device at all. And frame rate is selected as high. And the auto adjustment of the graphics quality is disabled. So we are going to play the whole game on high end graphics quality only. So let's just start it. So you can see there are some slight frame drops while changing the camera angle but the graphics quality is looking yeah there was visible lagging and frame drops as you can see the graphics quality is quite good but it's lagging here and there so if you are going to play rules of survival or PUBG on your Huawei P20 it's better to select a bit lower graphics quality for smoother gameplay. So camera angles are changing smoothly, there is no issue in 3D graphics rendering. Even now it's pretty smooth. But by playing on high FPS graphics settings sometimes there is frame drops and visible lagging on PUBG. And now once again let's go back to Warhammer. So you can see that the game once again is exactly where I have left it. So you can play three high-end heavy graphics games side by side without any issue. You are playing Warhammer, a Sport Extreme. Let me try to go back to a Sport Extreme once again. And the game is exactly where we have left it. Now let's go back to PUBG. And it's there as well. So at least three high-end heavy graphics games are supported at the very same time. So now let's close them all and now let's play Modern Combat 5. And you can see that the graphics quality is selected as the highest possible 60 FPS and optimal quality is selected. You cannot go higher than this as you can see. So this is the highest possible graphic setting. On me. Move into cover. Take him out. So you can see that the graphics quality is really nice, Straight lots of details and Target everything, but Confirm there are some frame drops now and then. Uh, hold up. Come on. Let's go. Thanks. Point B. Over. You heard him. Come on. 
there are some lagging and frame drops are uh, clearly visible but the graphics quality is really good So even while playing Modern Combat 5, the performance is quite good. The graphics quality was really nice, but the frame drops were visible now and then. And now let's play Shadowgun Legion. It's also one of the most high-end heavy graphics game. So you can see there are some frame drops, some lagging, You're visible. The camera angles are changing quite smoothly but some frame drops were visible earlier even now. Let's play now on 30 FPS and see whether we are going to get a smoother gameplay or not. So still there are some frame drops even though we are not playing anything in the background. All other games are closed right now. There is nothing running in the background but still we are facing some frame drops and lagging here and there on Shadow and Legion. So the graphics quality is really good. The gameplay is nice and smooth. It's looking quite good. Earlier it was lagging while in the game menu when we were in the game menu. But while playing the game it's looking pretty good and smooth. Now there is no frame drops, no lagging, everything is nice and smooth. The graphic quality is great here as well on Shadow and Legends. There was a minor frame drop just now. The camera angles are changing perfectly and everything is nice and smooth here. You can see there is not much lagging but sometimes it's lagging for sure. So the overall gaming performance of Huawei P20 Pro is really good. It was capable of running most of the high-end heavy graphics game very easily and smoothly but when we were playing PUBG there were some lag and frame drops. Also while playing Shadow and Legends there were some frame drops. In Modern Combat we felt like 
uh, slight frame drops, very minor, negligible you can say, but because we were playing the game on 60 FPS and especially the performance of 6GB RAM was really good. We were able to play few of the most high and heavy graphics game, 3-4 games side by side without any issue, without any force closing. Sometimes the device was lagging for sure, some frame drops were clearly visible. So the device is a bit warm but not so hot considering the fact that we were playing all of these high-end games for so long on heavy graphics setting. So if you are a gamer, you would like the performance of Huawei P20 Pro but it's not suitable for every single game because Mali G72 GPU is one of the best but it's still it was not good enough for UBG especially when we were playing it. And I would like to consider that basically it was because of the other high-end games running in the background. So if you're going to just run one very heavy graphics game, even I think PUBG, then the performance will be nice and smooth on Huawei P20 Pro. So that's all for now friends. Thanks for watching the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos, tips and tricks, enhanced reviews like this. I'll see you guys next time in another video. Have a nice day.